Uh, all right, next up, we've got uh, Liberty and Ole Miss. Uh, very, very fascinating non-conference game here. Uh, we've got Ole Miss, uh, nine, nine and a half point home favorites, 68 and a half the total in this one. Money's come in on Liberty. I kind of agree uh, with this one, uh, Liberty and Ole Miss here. Uh, even though it's in Oxford, Liberty going on the road here. How much does Ole Miss really – I shouldn't. they should care about this game because Liberty's a solid group of five team, but how much do they? And they just lost to Auburn. It's their second loss now. They're getting to the point now, Ole Miss, that things are starting to – all their expectations before the season, you know, winning the SEC, even winning the West Division, they're not going to happen now. You know, you worry about that a little bit. Is there really that focus here for this non-conference game against uh, Liberty – uh, I'm not totally sure about that. And then you go back home to face AM next week, which is probably a bigger game because it's in conference. For Liberty, they get this opportunity to showcase themselves against a Power 5 team. Uh, they're going to take advantage of that. And look, their offense is humming again. Last two weeks, uh, granted, UMass and North Texas are awful teams, awful defenses, 35 and 62. But look, Ole Miss defense, I'm waiting for them to show me the improvement that Lane Kiffin thought they would have going into the year, and they just haven't. So I think Malik Willis and company going to be very, very fired up for Ole Miss. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be that way uh, the other way around. Keep in mind, we have seen evidence of Liberty, you know, the last a couple of years testing their mettle against these Power 5 teams. You know, against Syracuse, they lost by three uh, earlier this year. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you go back to uh, last year as well. Uh, we saw uh, them play a, a couple of teams pretty tough. Virginia Tech, they beat them 38-35 last year. They lost by one at NC State last year. They beat Syracuse yeah. last year. They have risen to the occasion. Every time they played a Power 5 team, it's liberty or nothing for me. And Ole Miss, you're right, still has all kinds of injury concerns. Is Corral 100%? He's been banged up the last couple weeks. Yeah, Liberty plus the points if I'm betting this game. Uh, what do you think, C-Mac? Yeah, I lean, lean with Liberty here, catching the points. I wish it was a little bit more, but you're right. This is finally they're getting up for it. They got this. They got the Raging Cajuns and Army. They, uh, before this, other than that Syracuse game, they weren't getting up for any of these football games. There's just no way, Liberty. Uh, you know, UMass, you know, and they lost to Monroe, falling asleep at the wheel. Um, I think they're in this one. One thing, Liberty's been able to point, but – I wonder how their defense plays because this obviously at 67, this total obviously it could fly over, but old miss has had three straight unders four or five have been under. I don't know. I think this game could stay under as well. Um, and you talked about the success last year. I wonder if this Liberty team is as good as last year. Cause they played. Yeah. NC state. Well in Virginia, I'm leaning the points with them. I wish it was a little bit more, uh, but I think maybe they can hang with a banged up, uh, old miss team. And, uh, with Malik Willis, he can make plays. So, lean Liberty. Yeah, lean Liberty. I lean over as well. 